God is good. God is good. I thank him for giving us an opportunity to be in the land of the living. Like-minded, like-minded. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 2 says, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Do not ever think that because all of you belong, whoever you are, to the same organization, you will think the same way. No, don't think so. We need to understand that not because we are Christians or not because we are all Catholics or Seventh-day Adventists or Pentecostal or Anglicans, whatever religion you slip in there, it's not because we are all that religion. It means that we will think the same way. But listen to this. When Paul is talking here and saying, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, he's not thinking that we must, we must all have it done pat. And whenever we discuss an issue, there must be no dissonance. No, listen to what Paul really meant. Paul really meant that we as Christians, in terms of the mission of the church, we need to fulfill the mission of the church. And what that is, the mission of the church is to carry the message of salvation, the good news, to all and to encourage individuals to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. What method? Well, that is why we are different. Now let me go back to something. You see the of one accord? The disciples were not of one accord when they, before Jesus Christ died. No, they were fighting and trying to see who would be greatest. And that was not being like-minded. They were shredding one another and destroying one another. But after Pentecost, uh, when they spent the time in the upper room, they were of one accord. And ever after, you never hear them bickering about who is greatest and who is not greatest. You don't hear that because after the Holy Spirit empowered them and gave them the ability to carry the message of salvation to the then known world, they understood the focus of being like-minded was for them to make sure that they all pool and unite efforts together to carry the message of salvation. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, that's how it should be. That's how it should be. So my method, one preaching in a bus, the other one being involved in welfare work, one going uh, because the Holy Spirit sent him uh, to baptize the Ethiopian eunuch, Another one preaching and thousands of individuals, Peter that is, are being baptized on the day of Pentecost. Another one going uh, and making sure that Dorcas uh, is resurrected, right? Another one answering the Macedonian call. Another one going and helping out Cornelius. Uh, listen, all of that, different methods of carrying out the message of salvation. By the way, by the way, this Paul who is writing this, he had a problem with John Mark. And because he had a problem with John Mark, he and Silas split up and went, and then uh, John Mark and Barnabas split up and went separate ways. But what were they involved in? They were involved in carrying out the message of, uh, sharing the message of salvation. So listen, I want us to get this. Within the Christian community, as it relates to methods of doing God's work, we do not have to have uniformity of thinking. We don't have to have that. But at the end of the day, we all must have one voice being like-minded in terms of knowing that our task is to make sure we live for Jesus Christ, the God-fearing life, the overcomer's life, be commandment keepers, live for God, and lead others into that saving relationship with Jesus Christ. Different methods. God and Father, thank you so much uh, for showing us that we 
ought to be like-minded in terms of carrying the message of salvation to the world. Guide and bless your people and help us to encourage each other as we use the different methods to save souls. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you.